I look around at his teammates and think, how can, how can you let that happen? You know, sort it out between you. Mitrovic surely put up some form of fight, and then there's a bit he of an did, argument. Yeah, he did. He did. And then you'd expect, you know, Team the captain player, or two or three Tom players Kearney to say, hang on a minute, yeah. mate, it is. Yeah. That's what the disappointment did it ever thing to you? is. I don't think so. No, no, I don't think. I mean, listen, sometimes you get fouled, you get brought, and you, you know, you might have taken a knock or something, and someone will come up to you and say, You're okay to take it, and you'll have a yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Things like that, but no one ever. What would you have said if we were playing together? Well, I would have argued. If it was my <laughs> he penalty, wouldn't have let you take it. If I was a penalty taker, I would have argued with you. <laughs> and then it would have been. And then it would have been an argument in front of everybody. Yeah, well, that's the problem. And then, and then it would have been. Was. And it would have been. Would you then turn to the captain? No, but it would have been a third person would have come over and went, Oi, Jake, he's the penalty taker, behave yourself, and that's the end of it. But Kamara won the penalty with the handball. He'd just come on as sub. Uh, a few minutes previous and um, I mean give Mitrovic when they do have a little scuffle Mitrovic walks away goes back gives him a kiss and sort of on the top of his head and wishes him best of luck um, but it's an incredibly selfish act isn't it you know it's nil-nil against the team who are, who are your rivals at the bottom of the league yeah. and you want to be the, the match winner you want to be the hero we, we, it's not about that we often it's refreshing from Ranieri because we often talk about we don't want managers to publicly slate their players but in this situation I think this is one of the moments you do that and he's doing it to improve that young man because obviously he's seeing characteristics where he's selfish, he's not thinking of the team, he's only thinking of himself, and it nearly cost the team. Unfortunately, he was rescued by his teammate to get the winning goal for them in the, in the 94th minute, by the way. What, tell me what goes on in that dressing room after a game like that. Well, nothing really because they, they score won, yeah, and they, they win <laughs> and they'll be brushed under the carpet. But I think the rest of the players will be reasonably pleased as well. A lot of it depends on what Ranieri thinks um, yeah. of the player as well. That could just be the perfect opportunity to leave him, you know, hung, drawn and quartered in a way. Because I don't really rate him anyway. I want him out in January, maybe. And then that's a that's so a. So the great... players wouldn't take the opportunity to let him know. I think the players would let him know. Yeah. Well, I think the players would let him know. But the, the harsh words have come yeah. from the manager yeah. today. Yeah. The manager could easily have said, "Oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. They do. They. He takes. You know, he's second in command for the penalties. He takes them in train and blah blah. And could have brushed it under the carpet, as Mo said. The fact that he's publicly outed them, even though they've won the yeah. game. I it's think been, it's very, it's very done telling. For the group to keep very the group telling. together. Well, time will tell us whether it's been done for the individual as well, whether he gets another opportunity to play and put things right.